Hey, orange one here. So we're going to talk about how to use these compact advanced Sterling radioisotope generators in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. You can find them in these lab reactors, though you can also find them just in labs. If you hit E um, and then uh, hit yes on, like I just hit the, uh, what was that, the nine button there. And so that just let me connect that to the grid. And now that it's connected to the grid, you can like turn it on, you can unplug, uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. And you can like turn it on and you can also move it. So you, the, the important thing is if I try and move this one right here, if I do G and then that direction, it doesn't let me grab it, but if it's been, um, like enabled by you, then you can move it around and you can like turn it on. Uh, you can like hook it up to uh, other vehicles and do all kinds of stuff. And as you can see, like I can move this around pretty easily. This character is a very strong mutant. So like keep that in mind, but they usually are able to move this stuff around um, unless you get super irradiated. And if you look at my stats, like I'm getting irradiated by standing in the generator area, so don't do that. There's tons of these. There's four of them there. I think another four down there. Just uh, be aware that your stats are going to tank while you're in that room. Um, but if we go over here, there was another patch of these things that I had just just a second. It's just over here. And these ones, when they are in labs that don't have... Um, like the uh, the generators, like these guys right here are just pretty much the same sort of deal. Uh, but I don't believe that they really irradiate you. Okay, yeah, we've gotten so weak that we can't move them. Um, but I mean, you saw us just a minute ago, we were just totally grabbing these things and it lets us grab it. It's just that we're too irradiated right now to move anything. So yeah. Be careful with the radiation. You will heal over time. It will give you some mutations as well. If you don't uh, get too irradiated, it won't kill you. So you can kind of cheese that for some radiation. Um, and I was thinking these guys would be easier to move if you actually take down the plants. That takes a little bit of time, and you can do that. Uh, and basically, that lets you then uh, wield it. Uh, so if we wanted to oh, let's wield, where is it? Right there. I mean, it's too heavy for us to drag, but we can still carry it. But as you can see, our Standema is not doing great with that. So that's going to make you run out of breath. Um, if you're dragging it, that does not happen. Uh, so let me go ahead and get these all the way back to my actual car way up above and I'll show you another couple things on how you actually get this hooked up to your vehicle and use it. All right, so you can see that we've got our vehicle here. We've got our generator here. If you want to attach this to the vehicle and you just hit like I think that was I hit uh, six there that doesn't actually connect them. Uh, what you need to do is actually look and get like a connector a jumper cable. So you can see there's a jumper cable right there on the vehicle. I think it's uh, somewhere around here. So if we go onto the vehicle right there, let's remove that. Um, so these items, this is what you would usually use to connect two vehicles to each other. So you can connect this to the uh, the um, I just did the generator, and then you also attach it to the vehicle. So you've connected the electrical systems of the generator and the ambulance using that jumper cable. So. Jumper cables, they're very useful items. Uh, they let you hook up these things to each other. Uh, you can make them if you've got basic fabrication up to four. So it's not like super difficult of a recipe to make, but you'll find them in like garages and stuff. And then when you've done that, your vehicle, um, if you've got batteries in it, 
its battery should increase in charge. Now, this is actually from my solar panels. Um, I've got a couple of those on here right now. But if we have those taken off of the vehicle, uh, we should have an increase of power. Um, we're getting hurt because we're a giant in a tiny little vehicle. And that was my cat, if you heard her. Um, <laughs> yes, she's right there. Hello, cat. Tutorial right now, please. <laughs> so you can see that we're kind of losing power right now. Um, but if we try and uh, just let time pass, I know we're kind of hurt, hurting. Um, I think it actually might be our, our weakness that's hurting us um, from walking around in that irradiated area and getting the radiation on us. But if we look at this, this thing should actually increase in power. Um, it's maybe just wait like two hours. Just let some time pass. Yeah, I know we're hurting. Ouch. Radiation. It sucks. Don't die from it. <laughs> That's something to keep in mind is that, yeah, you might be able to mutate yourself getting some radiation sickness, but it might also uh, kill you. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Uh, so you can see, although it says we're losing power, we're actually gaining it. It's, it's a gradual, gradual um, flow from these things. But if you get one, there's no reason you can't get four of them. And yeah, it's only 130 watts, um, but like over enough time, that's that's tons. And if you grab like four or five, which I think I had access to without even being getting irradiated at all um, in the reactor, there was a couple of those just in that deep lab, then you can use that for power. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind is that you don't want this getting uh, smashed. Because uh, if it gets smashed, it's going to irradiate you even more. So now if we stand here, I bet you... Um, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm doing more to it. I bet you that we're getting irradiated, though. In any case, this is a great way of getting power. And something to keep in mind that you can do is that you can also take this down. So you can say, examine, um, take down. Yeah, I know it's going to irradiate us right now even more because it's like, you know, broken. But you can then wield this thing and just stick this in your vehicle. Um, there is a mini reactor that you can get, uh, apparently, in the game, but like you can't really install this directly, unfortunately. Uh, but what you can do is just kind of carry it around and then uh, deploy it as needed. And um, it, it's not deployed that way. I think it's you place this, and you need yeah, you need the right tools accessible to do that. Um, place that, uh, and so you can place your reactor down wherever you are on the go. And then um, if you have the jumper cables, you just grab that and use that here on this um, to plug in these two things to each other. And they're hooked up. And so it's kind of like you just recharge, you have to stop, and you do have to plug it in. But it is constantly renewable even during night and it will recharge even if you've got a fair amount of charge in your vehicle like i do it should recharge it plenty so yeah there you go